How is it going, people? Tony here with Benji, Football Fan TV, and we are back again. Premier League is here this weekend, but before the, the weekend games start, uh, we still have to digest. A lot of people have already talked who their top six is going to be, their last three or the relegation three is going to be like, yeah. players to watch out. My new fans are already happy. They know they are going to win the Premier League. Chelsea also thinks they are going to win it. Yeah. Liverpool. Arsenal people are also not sleepy. So, um, who is going to go first though? Your top six <laughs> or, or mine first? Cause uh, well, I'll I've, go first. Though, okay. um, I actually took the assignment seriously. Yeah. I'm actually predicting the whole table. The whole table, yeah? To the end. It's well, crazy to predict between 10th and 17th. Yeah. It's really impossible. Like, I can't get rid of much of the class. Mm. I'm not a man. Yeah. Oh, that's, this is an elephant. And that was weird animals. That most. predicts, uh, to predict things, eh? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not any of that, but I try, you know? Mm. Mm. So, when I look at the lay of the land right now, um, I'll start with the relegation. Okay. You started um, from down. Are you scared to start from the top? Or what? Gonna, when I, I started <laughs> the top, I don't think that's predictable. Okay, start, start from the from the bottom. Um, this is a controversial one, but I think Crystal Palace is going this season. Yeah, mark my words. Um, after Zaha left and the possibility of losing Olisi, I think Eze will shine, but he's single one and he cannot carry the team. Where will the goals come from? Jordan and I, you can barely score five goals in a season. What if they do have some signings? Their time is running out, and I don't think they have the money. And you know how turns football. So I think Crystal Palace will go down. Okay. Luton and Town will not make it. Mm. And I think Sheffield United might go back again. Sheffield. Last season, none of the teams that have just been promoted left. They all stayed, they all did brilliant. Mm. Uh, they're all in the top 10, mm. apart from uh, Nottingham, and the rest were all in the top 10. Mm. Fulham and, and uh, Brentford did really mm. well. Mm. So, um, so, those are the three that I predict will go. Okay. Um, I'm a bit skeptical between Sheffield, Everton, and Nottingham. Mm. So, I think between those, one of them will be the same team. Mm. And then we'll mm. go up higher than Bournemouth, there's West Ham, there's Wolves. It's full harm in 12, Brentford in 11. Brentford will miss Ivan Tony because of his suspension. So I don't think, January. Yeah, I don't think they'll do as good as they did last yeah. um, season. Full harm, they're still, you know, Mitrovic might leave, he might stay. But they're building something really good. They bought Adama Traore, so it's a possibility they might shock us again and be the top 10. They have a very good coach. Yeah. Spurs is in 10th for me. For you, yeah? Yeah. Burnley comes in at 9 because I think Company is a very good coach and the team is playing really well. Mm. Newcastle United, Champions League will be too much for them, so I think they'll be in the eighth mm. for me. Seventh will be Unai, he's going to maintain his Europa standards. He has made good signings and no one is talking about them actually. Yeah. Yuri Tillemons now, they got, they got Pau Torres, they yeah. got Diaby. Their squad looks good actually. But when they have got an ACL, but they'll be okay without him. Coutinho can step in, I think. Yeah, Coutinho can step in. Yeah. Yeah. So I think Aston Villa will be in a position between six to seven, but I have them in seven. Mm. Because uh, we have to find space for Manu, who I think will be sixth. Unfortunately, uh, I know I'll get some stones thrown at for this, but yeah, yeah, I still feel like. Wait, hold on. Before you even wanted to go, Dranix wanted to be on this one. He said there's something that is burning him yeah. uh, that we said or something we'll that has happened. We'll, we'll add a uh, he him. wants he <laughs> wants to he wants to be here and he wants to be in the studio with you. He has something to tell you particularly. Oh, wow. So yeah, so you can, can go. Can this message and add it? <laughs> yeah, we can add it. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, for me, I feel like Manu is not a deal properly. I yeah. think they've brought pieces, but they've not yet. I don't know where the goals will come from for Manu. Spoiler. Nah, I don't think he's 20 goals. They still have Martial as well, so. Uh, he's even injured, and he's never delivered <laughs> for them all these years. Yeah. When is his prime? His prime is 10 goals, bro. How old is Martial? 28, I think, 28, oh. Okay. He's going to go. He's been there for a while. Okay. Brighton is a fifth for me. Yeah. I think they're going to do really well in... Um, Europa, mm. they'll be a bit wobbly because they've lost so many key players as usual. They yeah. set off their top guys. Yeah. The midfield is now almost non existent, but they have kids who will step in. Yeah. So I think they'll still be okay. They'll be in fifth. Yeah. They'll be. Then Chelsea is my dark horse. As dark as their players are, <laughs> I think that's what makes them. Dark humor, yeah. They are your dark horses. Yeah, they're my dark horses <laughs> for this season. I think Pochettino is a very good coach mm. and has had the chance to have a whole summer of the kids. Mm. And to put everyone, bro, selling 15 players in one thing, not easy. Mm. And when I look at how the pieces are falling together, today I said, he's going to stay with them. He's choosing them over Liverpool, which is huge. Signed Tyler Adams. The midfield, which 
we joked about it just two Last days ago. Yeah. Now has enough. Almost enough anyway. Yeah. So if they get that pieces together, I think they can actually make it to the Nkunku is injured. He's injured, but it doesn't matter. They will find gold. So yeah, um, Arsenal is in third for me. Okay. So I think the, the, new, the, new, the new signings have put you guys in a better place. Mm. But losing the heart that Jaka brought to the team, mm. you will feel it. When I was watching the Community Shield game, the only thing missing there was a leader in your team. But everyone else knows how to play with each other, everybody's skilled, the coach is on point. Arsenal is someone to watch out for even in the Champions League. What kind of a leader are you talking about, though? An on pitch leader who leads with that heart. You know, like how Jaka always got red cards because of that passion. Who do you have in City who does that? Diaz. Diaz does that, Rodrigo does that. Um, KDB does it by what he does, by, not by talking. But One of the reasons the boats rise is, is that. Yeah, but he has not yet stepped up to the plate, and I don't think he'll immediately have that impact. Not everyone likes a guy who comes in for all that money, mm-hmm. but he's not that good. In training, you know, it's all about skills, it's all about, you know. Mm-hmm. And Rice is not someone who's as impressive to watch in training, because he's not technically gifted. Okay, so who so is your number me, two? So for me, my number two is actually Man City. Who I changed you? my mind this morning mm-hmm. when they announced that I said I'm going to Liverpool. Mm. But I've changed my mind again. Mm. Number two is Liverpool. Now we're just playing good. So Man City has gone back to number one. Number one. Come on. Of course, I was missing it. I was trying to give you some hope. Nah, nah, nah. There's nothing like hope. Liverpool and City are going to run away with the league like they did. Someone should clip this. Yeah, Yeah, they should. Remember the last time I I (laughs) got. I I boldly professed I would whoop your asses in the champ. In the. Shall get back to that. But yeah, Liverpool. (laughs) For me, Liverpool Mm. has the most people attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, the are the, all playing in midfield mm. because they have lost time as well and they do, who are obviously hopeless mm. towards the end of their careers. Yeah. The burnout have really killed them. You know that game against press that Jurgen Klopp likes to play, keeping up with it season after season is really hard. Mm. But they don't have Champions League football. They have Thursday night football. They have enough kids who can turn up and play um, those Europa games, you know, mm. especially group stages. And they attack, bro. They will score, bro. Okay, so City are your champions. City are my champions. 2023, 2024, then uh, Liverpool number two. Liverpool Arsenal two. number three, number four is uh, Chelsea. Chelsea. Manu number five. Brighton number five. Manu number six. six. Yeah. Wow. City is simply a well old machine from the top down. Yeah? Okay. The last three seasons of the Premier League two have been won by Man City. Mm-hmm. Three feet as well. So in all levels, we're doing our work. That's my prediction. Well, for me, uh, I would say City is not taking it for the fourth time because no any other team has done it. Okay. Uh, so this is how I'm going to go. I am going to give uh, a very bold one, not being a national fan, but I'm, I'm putting this as a tight race. Mm-hmm. Uh, Arsenal, Man City, Liverpool. Okay. It's going to be a tight race. And I'm also going to put Man U there. It's not going to be like any other seasons whereby number two and number three run with the trophy yes and then number three is fighting with number five to just get the number four spot some yeah. somehow like that yeah. so i believe um arsenal city liverpool manu chelsea newcastle aston villa brighton that's my top seven okay then my bottom three i think uh my bottom three i think uh nottingham doesn't survive this time mm. the summer survived last season yeah. and then uh Wolves, they just sacked their manager, they got a new manager, and then one of the newly promoted teams, Sheffield, doesn't survive. Me, I th- I see Luton survive and Burnley surviving, so that's my top seven and then my bottom three. <laughs> Very bold one. So, so, so that's the in, in one city, two, two, three, three, four. Uh, money four, Chelsea five, okay. and then Newcastle six, Brighton eight, Aston Villa seven, Brighton. Hey, that's my that's my prediction for the new season. So basically, somewhere, I, I, somewhere that Spurs <laughs> might be around around the tenth street. Where Chelsea was last season, yeah. that's where they're going to be around this this coming season. But right. those are just my predictions, not what is going to happen. But yeah. you know, uh, we're going to see it probably uh, in Christmas. We shall come back and again we adjust because right. that is when we will know that okay, the, these were pretenders, these yeah. are serious, and then you see that the There's boys are the men. If you like it, if you like me this question, please share with us uh, your prediction for who will win the league uh, in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, this episode is brought to you by Xbox Media. Um, hit us up and hit them up actually right, through the link in the description, description. down there. And uh, yeah, give us the business, give us the money. Yeah, so if you want to do some photography, some nice professional photo shoots, photo shoots uh, videography, if you want some ad run, 
anything extra scraps is in the description reach out to them mbakuwa mq88 in kampala rua park also shout out to epic ug uh there are a lot of jazzes being delivered lately actually even before we are doing this i think the girlfriends the girlfriends uh, yeah, they yeah. should they just check in the description. Yeah. Surprise your boyfriends. The season is here. They shouldn't be out there when they don't have the new kids, right. when other people have the kids. We'll be so having basically, watch alongs uh, from time to time. Yeah. Uh, if you're interested in tagging along, we'll be letting you know how you can reach us. Um, and yeah, we'll be like we'll be commenting live on the games. Also, mm, yeah, good. I'd like to boldly predict the winners of the trophies next season. Okay. Europa, Liverpool, FA Cup, Man City again, mm. Premier League. Man City, mm. Champions League, which will not be from England, Europa Conference League, you know the man, Una Emery. I am, I am not going to be predicting that, but uh, uh, the last one I would want us to do together before we sign out is uh, the top scorer. Who do you think is going to be the top scorer? This oh, obviously season? Haaland. Haaland, yeah? That's it, that's a no-brainer. Who is going to come close to him? Salah. Salah is coming back. Um, he's not going anywhere, but he's going to chip in a lot. Don't you think Nicholas Jackson is going to chip in and, and score 20 you plus? You don't, unless you're Haaland, you don't come to the Premier League. Immediately, and just kick off. Like Chelsea is going to take a while to settle. Mm-hmm. So many of those players have just come into the Premier League. It's not mm-hmm. like they have tested players in the league. It's going to take a while. So I think Salah, Haaland, and uh, even Wayland, because Manu, who else is going to come for them? Rashford. Rashford will not have a league. This is not like he did last year. It's not going to happen. He's not that kind of player. Oh uh, my god. Anyway, guys, thank you for uh, watching uh, the content as usual. Make sure you, you, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications, make sure you don't miss any of the content we'll be putting. Uh, thank you so much for always subscribing and also letting someone know about the pod. Uh, Benji, I think we'll see you on the, on the next one. Clip, clip, clip his predictions at uh, the trophies that are going to be taken next season. He has already made it. Me, I have kept quiet on the trophy bit. I already gave you my top seven, top eight, and then my bottom three. So... See you on the next one.